June 22, 2000, the city of Solana Beach, along with its partners, the San Dieguito Union High School District, the Friends of the Solana Beach Library, and the County Board of Supervisors, broke ground on the new Shared Use Library project. One year later, the city enjoyed the ribbon cutting ceremony for the newly completed library. Barbara Groff, president of the San Dieguito Union High School District Board of Trustees, led the opening of the ceremony for the new multi-use venture. There are two words that will probably be used several times this afternoon. Perseverance and partners. The persevering partners in this library project are the City of Solana Beach, the County Board of Supervisors, the County Library, the Friends of the Solana Beach Library, and the San Diego Union High School District. Today we're celebrating the culmination of years of thought, planning, hard work by all the partners in this project. There are planning sessions, public meetings, visits to Scottsdale and Sacramento, agenda items, funding decisions, and my personal favorite, joint meetings of the school district and the city council. <laughs> All of this effort has resulted in what you see today, an outstanding facility. The project could not have happened without the city of Solana Beach's vision of a successful community library on a school site and their financial support. Tom Campbell, mayor of Solana Beach, spoke about this historic event. This is a great day for Solana Beach. Um, I'm really proud to be here. And on behalf of the residents of Solana Beach and my fellow council members, I'm honored to be here to commemor commemorate the opening of our new and improved library in Solana Beach. As Barbara said, we're here today as a result of prior visions, years of planning, and unrelenting efforts of many individuals. This library is really a symbol of, of what can be accomplished when, when different agencies have somewhat common needs and set aside their individual desires and commit to achieving a result that is really for the benefit of the community and is available to everyone. And I'm very confident that this shared use library will serve as a model for other shared use libraries in San Diego County. And on behalf of the city of Solana Beach, I'd like to officially invite all of you and all of our residents to visit the library often and utilize its resources. Bob Gopfordson, president of the Friends of the Solana Beach Library, a group which spent countless hours assisting with the library design and fundraising, spoke next on his group's role in the creation of the library. We had six years of serious effort to really get this thing going. And uh, even before that, there was a lot of people working maybe for the last 10 or 12 years to try and get some interest stimulated in this thing. Today we finally see the, the results, the culmination of all that effort. It's a happy and exciting day for me and to have been a participant in this and be able to see this magnificent structure uh, has been a singular privilege for me. Uh, here we are today, one year to the day exactly from groundbreaking, June 22nd. It's truly a, going to be a living and vital part of our community. And it's a tr it will be a showpiece for the city, a place of learning, culture, friendship, and leisure. This library has already established a reputation for nice, good collections, uh, for its varied and comprehensive collections, including many foreign uh, language items, including Spanish, Chinese, and now we're getting some Arabic. The next partner in the Shared Use Library project is the County of San Diego. County Supervisor Pam Slater shared her thoughts during the ceremony. It is the first joint use library, shared use library, that we have in our county system. So um, it had to, as many pioneers do, it had to do a lot of the legwork to establish precedents and to figure out ways to get things done that had not been done this way before. But the benefits are great. First of all, the, the library itself, of course, is the heartbeat of the community. And right here, it is within walking distance to so many residents and, of course, the school children. So it's a really wonderful resource, as well as there's an elementary school not too far away. The San Diego County Library staff, led by Marilyn Crouch, spoke about the benefits of joint collaboration on the project. On behalf of the San Diego County Library staff, we're thrilled to be here today to present your new shared use library in Solana Beach. 
this project truly shows what happens when you collaborate, when the talents and resources of various partners come together. And we think this project will be the model for shared use libraries, not only in San Diego County, but around the state of California. D.D. Albert, state senator, has been a longtime supporter of the San Dieguito Union High School District and the Shared Use Library Project through her sponsorship of SB 1795, a bill which allocated funds for similar projects. You know, when I was elected to the legislature, slightly after I was elected, the bond measure passed, which actually meant that we could begin to do joint use facilities. And one of the first people at my doorstep was Marian Dodson, uh, my former tennis partner and someone who I served on the Solana Beach School Board with. And by that time, she was a city council person. And right away, she was there trying to see what could be done in this area to see to it that we could do a joint use project. As we begin to look around this state, we are finally having a recognition of how important joint use is. It really isn't possible any longer to just build separate public buildings and not think about how we can actually join together so that this time the library bond that was passed in this state requires that the top priority for projects that are funded around the state are for joint use libraries. So you will see, I hope, in the coming decade more and more people work together to make this kind of facility happen. A project of this magnitude would not have been completed without the tireless efforts of a creative, supportive, and long-suffering principal. Margie Balkan, Principal of Earl Warren Middle School has supported this project from its inception. As I gathered my thoughts together for what I would tell you today, everyone I talked to about what would happen today uh, unanimously shared a common story with me, and that was how they got their first library card. There's something American, something patriotic, something nostalgic about those two words, library card. In many community, communities, a child's initiation into education begins at the local library as a toddler when they come to the library for the first time to be exposed to reading. Later, as children, they begin to read on their own and learn how to pick and choose literature of interest to them. As teenagers, they visit the library to find something new, something to research. As adults, they bring their children back to the library as toddlers for their first library card. And as senior citizens, they return to read to young children. The ribbon cutting today is really the unwrapping of this present to our community. This package that we present to this circle of contributors to what really might be a village educating a child. And now we have the representatives of that village um, here to cut the ribbon for us. Victoria Wong, now an eighth grader, she just finished her seventh grade year, is better known to us by her ID number, 609504, because it's been memorized. This young lady has checked out more books from the library than any other student at Earl Warren. And while we love her name, she's affectionately known as 609504. Thank you, Kathy Strato. Uh, also joining her is Calvin Reed, a grandparent reader who is best known for using hand puppets to help tell stories to children in the library. The joint partners felt that these two individuals best represent who the gift is for. We present to you the Solana Beach Joint Use Library, Earl Warren Middle School. Both before and after the ribbon cutting ceremony, many guests and dignitaries share their thoughts on the new library project. My name is Nancy and I have been working towards this library for about six years now when I became a member of the Friends. Uh, for a while I served as treasurer and Today seems like a dream come true. We've been working for a long time and I really appreciate all the people in Solana Beach that have helped us and encouraged us and contributed so much money. And I hope you all enjoy the library. Typically we do fundraising to purchase books and supplies and equipment that's needed. 
And uh, our part in this library was uh, we raised uh, and have donated to the cause $925,000 so far. We are thrilled that, that this library will be open the most hours of any branch in the San Diego County Library System. During the school year, we're going to open at 7 in the morning. We're going to be open six days a week. We'll be open several nights a week so that school kids will be, can use the library for their school assignments and the public of every age has a library open uh, six days a week and for all their informational needs. As a school board member, it, um, I have been one of the most enthusiastic supporters of this project. And I see the role of uh, the benefit and role to the school as having this fabulous library, which we, could, we couldn't have on our own. At the same time, bringing the community and the school district together, I think, is very exciting. And everybody benefits from having a, be a better library. The benefit to our school is that this is now our library and we share it with the community. And when we once had just under 11,000 books in our library, we've just tripled our collection by joining forces with the county library system. And our students now can triple their resources and use twice, not twice, but thrice as many resources for research and uh, projects for their classroom. So we benefit a great deal from this project and we look forward to using it. We did make a trip over to Scottsdale, saw several shared use libraries over there that worked very, very well. And after coming back from that trip, we were certainly able to give it 100% support and we're very happy to be in this building today. It's so much better than the library we had where we went downstairs in a shopping center. It was one little room. Now we have plenty of room and the experience was really an educational one and a, a wonderful experience to work with the county, with the friends and with the school district. Looking at this library, it's just amazing what they've done. I remember when they were starting just breaking ground and what it's done now is it's an amazing feat. Compared to the old library in uh, the plaza over there, it's just tons times better how much it could have been. I mean, now they have computers, they've got chock full of books, all this amazing stuff. And even after school, the, the students can come here and wait for their parents. I think it's going to be a good opportunity for the kids to have a brand new and bigger library. Down by the station, early in the morning, see the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the engine driver pull his little lever. Puff, puff, toot, toot, off we go. We are so excited to be here at the new Solana Beach Library because we've been going to the old library every day after Peter gets out of school. He goes to preschool right above it, to the kids' school. And it's a very, very small and it's sort of dark. And we liked it because they had the grandpa reading time and it was convenient for us. It's really our closest library. And so we've been waiting for this grand opening. It's Mark. All oh, the krill have been driven off. This is silly, declared Rainbow Fish. Before we. Thank you.